Hello, welcome to Fulfill My Friday. I would have loved to do a, f a live video, but uh, the connection is unstable. So I recorded a video to share it at a later point when the connection is better. So I hope you have had a blessed July, a blessed week. Uh, today is the final day of July, so it's July 31st and we are going to be stepping into a new month, which is great. That means we are able to further demonstrate God's glory in this earth. So I'm going to keep this really brief. Uh, just wanted to jump on here and finalize our series on the Power Initiative. We spent a good amount of time in this series, and now it's time to move on to a different series. I wanted to backtrack on some of the things we discussed in the prior videos. Uh, one being the power of our words. It's important that we keep the power of our words uh, in alignment with what the Bible says. If you do not want the things that are not according to the Bible, if you do not want your life to go in a direction that is not according to God's will and His destiny for you, then watch your words. Even in the moments where you are having conversations with friends, family members, uh, peers, or co-workers about things that you may see as small things. You need to watch your passivity in those situations. Even if you have a passive conversation about something and they say something that's not in alignment with the Bible and you say, yeah, okay, you are essentially agreeing with those things. Even if you think it is passive, it is still going to manifest in your life. So examine your words before you speak, before you speak on the things that you want in your life. We also covered the power that is given to us by God. God is the ultimate source. We should always stay connected to Him. And so we also learned that the Holy Spirit is the one that gives power to us. Uh, I was reading a book by Derek Prince. Uh, I believe it's called God's Power. I don't think that's a full title, but look it up, Derek Prince. You can Google it, there's a free PDF. Um, and part of the title, title says God's power. Uh, I was reading that and it was saying that all the power that is given to us by God is, comes through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our helper, um, uh, the one that convicts us also when we are doing situations or doing things that we're not supposed to be doing or about to land yourself in a situation that is not uh, conducive to what your future holds that God has for you. So through the Holy Spirit is how we have our power and we also learned that there are three uh, in the body as far as uh, God and then there's Jesus and then there's the Holy Spirit there's the three aspects the three beings that we are connected to as Christians as followers of Christ and so when we learn that we can tap into that we don't have to try to lean on our own understanding we don't have to try to do things in our own power we don't have to vindicate ourselves we don't have to consider how to resolve a situation because God has already figured it out so if you're in a situation where you feel that you need to figure out how to do this uh, figure out how to make some more income for you why won't you instead partner with God and say hey God so I want to start this type of business I want to branch out and be an entrepreneur I want to write a book help me partner with me in order to accomplish this and he will show up every single time and I'm telling you that people he will put your name in the minds of people and he these people will go out of their way in order to bless you I've experienced this on various accounts and I will continue to experience because of my confidence in God and who I am in Christ so you also have to be confident in who you are in Christ don't walk around thinking that the things of this world apply to you. There are a lot of things that are going on in this world right now. But the thing that is for sure is that you are protected and you're saved and that God has a plan for you. Uh, whether you believe it or not, whether you understand that purpose, ask him. Ask him for the plan that he has for you. Ask him for, uh, ask him what he needs to reveal to you. When you seek God, he will find you. He will also reveal things to you if you ask him to. So I encourage you to do that. And I also want to encourage you also to be ready for the manifestation. That was one of the, the things that we discussed in this series is getting ready for the manifestation, realizing that 
God needs people who he can work with and work through. So if you are that person, he will work through you. If you find yourself being disobedient to what God has said about what he wants for you, if you find yourself uh, not doing the things that he asks you to do, he cannot use you. Therefore, how can he ask you to do something in the future? He tests our heart to see what's in there and if the if you have the capacity to do what he's called you to do if he finds your heart and he knows every single aspect about you there's nothing you can hide from him and he finds in your heart that something is impure why would he call you to a certain thing in the future if you are not being obedient that you're not going to do what he says you for you to do we're all carpenters or we're all he points to his kingdom and so we need to be able to step into the identity that he has given us and realize that our identity is in Christ and we don't have to worry about the things of this world that we are going to go through hardships we are going to be prosecuted people are not going to like you just because you're a follower of Christ they might even may not even know you're a follower of Christ but they would just not like you for that reason and the Bible says the kind of all joy, the things that you go through, the trials, the tribulations, that those things are going to produce something in you. The things that you're going through now is going to lead to something in your future, something that he has in mind for us. And always remember that the things that he calls us to do is for the body of Christ as a whole and for the salvation of people who are not followers of Christ just yet. So accept the call, answer the destiny that God has for you because the destiny he has is way better than the destiny we will create for ourselves so uh, thank you for joining me for this quick Fulfilling Life Friday for our series finale I will be announcing what I'll be discussing next week I may have to do another video like this I may have to or I may be live because I have Wi-Fi um, but greetings from Haiti and I pray you have a blessed weekend, uh, walk in your favor, call in the things that you do not see as if you see them. So continue to call in those things. Don't get weary in repeating what the things that you are expecting God for because he listens. He hears you every single time. You are not forgotten. You are his son or daughter and uh, we are supposed to reign on this earth as the Bible says. So be blessed and uh, continue to walk in your authority.